Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Wow. So if you were looking like this last week because you were really, really mad that you're missing out on Sam's, have a smile on your face because I'm going to show you what it should look like, not just tell, but now I'm going to show you. So this is one of the biggest times of the year for winning government contracts. And of course, there's a lot of money and you can win no matter any time of the year, but it is definitely concentrated towards the end of the fiscal year, which is right now. So this is how to get validated in SAMS. If I had to say the number one question we receive is it gets a little complicated. So this is a graph and I would love for you to actually take a photo of it because I want you to see where it stops or where it starts, which is number one and where it goes. So let's look at those of you that have had a serious time getting validated. This should really, really, really help you get there because you've got serious money waiting on you and you can't even get to it because you can't get validated. So let's look at what we need to do. So sharing my screen with you, we are looking at that we need to go to number one, which is going to, going to be, you are about to get validated. Validated is when you're going to register in stamps and they're going to validate your company. That is a legal company and give you a UEI, unique entity identifier number. Number two, this is where you're going to enter all your information. Number three, that's where they're going to search the records to see if you're found. Number four, you're going to enter your corporate information. Number five, that's when they're going to review the details. If everything is correct, you can skip to number 11. And you see this, if all of your details are correct, if it shows up on the screen and all of your details are correct, then you can skip straight to um, receiving your UEI number. Most times, it is not going to be available for whatever reason, it's not there. And so then you're going to update your entity information, confirm it. Then number nine, document. Number nine, you're going to document it. And number 10 is where you're going to actually upload. Now, at this point, your validation incident ticket is generated. I'm going to see if I can't show you what that looks like. If you have everything in this computer. And this is even if you're renewing it. Some people that are renewing are surprised that they're not listed in the computer. If you have everything that is actually uploaded in the computer, number 11, it's going to take you to number 12 to get your UEI. And then you're going to proceed to continue with the registration. The registration, that's when you're registering for SAMS. You go all the way through. This is where you're going to see your DSBS, your Dynamic Small Business Search within SAMS. This is where you're going to see about entering in your checking account information because we know you're going to win a contract and get paid. All of that is going to be in here. So you're going to stay on the top part, one, two, three, four, five, and six is where you're going to go either down to register because you've gotten your UEI number, or you're going to continue on to upload your documents. Now, at this point, this is where you will come down and you will then, what happens after you submit your documents? This is what it looks like. You are going to then go in and create an incident report. And if you want to see that incident report, that's when you're going to log into fsd.gov, add any comments, as you can see right here, where it takes you there. So that's how we create the incident report. Documents that you need for validation, make sure that you look over this because you need to have this in order to continue on successfully. No PO boxes. Um, they need to have the uh, bank statements if they're going to be, they can be bank statements or utility bills with your company address and name. Both need to match exactly. And I mean, exactly. If there's a capital LLC, you need to put in a capital LLC. So if yours is Jackson Cleaning Services, LLC. It needs to be Jackson Cleaning Services, comma, LLC, if you have a comma. And that's where a lot of people get confused because they think it, you know, I've got LLC, I've got a little LLC, a capital L, it doesn't, it does matter. So make sure you put that on there. Now, 
only the EVS provider can review and receive incident tickets from SAM.gov. So what can I do now? Well, you can go in and you if you've opened an incident, you can check your documents, make sure they're right, monitor your email, respond immediately. And if you're coming up for renewal, like they say, make sure that you get started early. And what happens after the validation? Well, what, that, what happens after the validation is you're going to come right here. See where it says continue to registration, not go to workspace, not workspace, but continue registration. And you're looking to click on, um, you're going to go in and click on register because you see right here, it says actions, view record, update, and register. You want to hit register and then it pops up with continue registration and not go to workplace. Then after that, this is what you're looking for. You are looking for, and let's go over what all of these are. So if you are waiting for your UEI, it's going to say pending ID assignment. If you are in the little bubble here, as you can see, if you have one already assigned, you've already gotten your UEI, it's going to say ID assigned. If you've submitted, like I just showed you, registering your SAMs, if you've done that, it's going to say submit registration. If something is wrong after you've submitted your registration, it's going to come back and say work in progress. And once you have gotten your cage code, which we're all working for, so we can... <gasps> Have that big smile on our face that we finally got our cage code from the from DLA Defense Logistics Agency. We are now in active registration. It's going to say always, when is it due again? So remember, pending ID means you're waiting on your UEI. Maybe your documents aren't right. That's when you want to check that mail every single day, your email. ID assigned, that's when you've gotten your UEI number. Now you're moving on to submitting your registration. If something is not right with the registration, you're going to kick it back to work in progress. You need to correct something, a phone number, something like that. And then last is going to be you are actively registered. And that is so great. And then what do I do after my registration? You continue on and you're going to see where you have to do. What do I do next after my validation is validated? It shows that you're going to, here's the register. And that is how you get to where you get to your cage code. And that is one of the biggest questions is, why can't I find a match to the name and address that I entered in SAM.gov? And the reason is because there's millions of records pulled and hundreds of, this, of official service um, sources, such as government databases, and they're looking to find a match in SAM.gov, but sometimes they can't verify it. That's why they need you to upload your documents. And... Well, well, I need to validate any time. It says, well, I need to validate any time I update my SAM.gov. The answer is yes, you have to validate once a year. Why am I getting rejected for cage code? Because DLA, like I said last time in the other video, so they're all connected. DLA is the one that signs the cage code. SAM is the one that sign, assigns the UEI and sends it on to the cage code. So they're two totally separate entities. So this should be the end of it. And where do I go to get help? You can come here. If you need any assistance with SAM.gov, please make sure you either visit our workshop or give us a call at 407-986-8228. That's 407-986-8228. Or make sure that you visit one of our workshops. And we do specifically, like I'm showing you now, step by step by step. So make sure you join us. I would love to see you. Click the description and the resources to sign up and I look forward to seeing you and until the next time, be safe and take care.